Frontier, which is one of the most successful breeding programs outside of Africa. To make it up the cheetah run, you get a chance to meet one of those cheetah ambassadors close up. So one of the things that sets us apart from a typical zoo is our focus on the large field exhibits, the very natural set. Our threatened or endangered, that means they're facing a lot of danger in the wild. And our our hope here is that we're able to protect them. In fact, we were originally built first and foremost for the comfort and safety of the animals. We didn't even open up. For we're hoping to see the next one arrive right about mid-summer. Out to the left, lots of pelicans. We're home to three types of African pelicans of the island. Uh, but our animals don't know that, and that works as a benefit. Again, we want to have as much of a natural setting as possible. Local vultures and that are California condors. Uh, condors, our own local vulture, numbered less than two dozen back in the 1980s. They were dying of lead poisoning. We partnered up with a few other local zoos and started to breed this about twice as fast as the fastest human. There are a species of ostrich that are endangered, like the red-necked ostrich. Uh, a little closer, we also work Couple with the yearlings. Actually, I'm going to sneak up real quiet, like here. I'm going to stop talking for a minute because there's a giraffe on the fence. Up there, there's some Somali Wait, wild ass. Well, they're pretty hardy, pretty sturdy, but they also do a lot of biting and kicking. That's part of horse society. And uh, well, the other animals really just want to avoid that kind of activity. So by respecting the animal's preferences, we are able to uh, have healthier herds. Well, the numbers have dropped to under 500, making them one of the most endangered members of the horse family. On our left. Oh, actually, let me see. Two, three herds mixed together. Little tan animals called uh, red fronted gazelle. They're little tan ones with the skinny horns. Uh, copper colored animals called Ugandan cob. And, these, and that concept has really caught on. A lot more uh, traditional zoos are working on the animals in bars to take care of their feathers. Oh, nice catch up here on the shoreline, though. They swallow those fish whole. Uh, the ones that have pretty much a belly when temperatures get hot here because they are used to temperatures around 120. Uh, when it rains, they're kind of uncomfortable, believe it or not. In the wild, they can go a lifetime without. They're pretty big. There's little guys to our left, little tan animals with a brown racing stripe. Those are South African spring box. Uh, they're full grown at about 15 pounds. And yeah, you can follow us on social media, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, up ahead, we can look for a giraffe, and we saw that truck earlier. Uh, they were out there feeding leaves to the giraffe. Now the giraffe are looking to pry bark off the palm trees. And I know she looks really tiny, but l let me tell you, she's already about three months old and already...